All right, we're on our way to our next service call. This one is in North Woodmere, part of the five towns. The job dispatched on my service pal mobile dispatching and invoicing app is typed as new central air conditioning system, very loud noises. Oh, let me see your old face. Oh. <laughs> from Office Space. Let's give that proper credit to that movie. Great movie, by the way, Office Space. Anyway, we did not install the system. This may be an episode of Hacks Bring Me Stacks. Hence the title of this video, Hacks Bring Me Stacks. Let's go see what's going on, guys, after I slightly tap on pedal. That's a big miller. They're milling the road. The roads here are getting repaved getting repaved all right guys stay tuned i promise it won't be disappointing because otherwise i don't post it <laughs> all right air force one you ready are you ready airman airman dyak yeah airman yeah you're gonna start a gym how long do you think we're going to wait before someone approaches the door? Even though we're a little early. I hear people, so. Do you? The door's open, too. The door is open. She's an investor. What an investor. How's it going? Hi. 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 How are you? <laughs> I'm Mike, and this is Chris behind me. Nice to meet you. Thanks we're for here. coming. You're welcome. I, tell me what's going on in your own words. So, it's just very loud. When it's air conditioning system? Air conditioning and I hear it's new. It's new. So it's the old nice. one, did the old one make noise? The old one never worked. Okay. So when we moved into the house, we redid the stuff. Yeah, the main zone is brand new. Upstairs, we replaced some parts. It's okay. two different zones. Let's. Um, uh, this is like a pool that gets from here, and it's like you can barely talk to people while it's up. It's so, so how many systems do you have? Two? Yeah, two. And which one, one for this floor and downstairs, and then one just for upstairs. Which one makes all the noise? I think it's this one. Okay. Is that the thermostat for? No, the thermostat's up there. What's that one for? Very weird. Heat, like all different. Thermostats. Is that the one that's around the corner normally in the dining room? What do you mean? That thermostat is normally around the corner in the dining room. Oh, yeah, because we took down the wall. Okay. <laughs> so that one only does heat, and that's that the baseboard that you have. Correct. And is, it, is there a thermostat downstairs too? Yes. And if you turn that one on, it's quiet or? Oh, you mean for air? Yeah. No. That, there's only that one and another one upstairs that control both zones. Okay. The whole thing's very strange. It's annoying that it's up there because it's like much hotter up there than it is. Like, it's not accurate. So if we turn that one on, we're going to not be able to talk. I mean, we'll be able to talk. It's just loud. It's just <laughs> Let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. Pretty much immediate the noise. Yeah, as soon as it kicks on, it's like. It's not, it's not. Yes, no? Yeah, I mean, is this not so loud? Are we just crazy? <laughs> <laughs> it's not so loud. I was expecting worse. I thought I was in here like a jet engine, like an F 16 going off. One. Two, three. A little quieter. Now I'm curious, maybe you close this one because this is where you have dinner and stuff. So this is closed. Let's open that. Okay. Let's see what kind of stuff we got here. Okay. No vents. And it looks closed. Nothing coming out of it. Nothing coming. Yeah, so that's uh, on. A little bit. Yeah? Very little. Let's see. Very, very little. No, there's nothing coming out of it. So they have this off the probably the upper level bedroom AC system. Let's take a look at the equipment that we have here. It's on the other side. Oh, man, I could have went all the way around the other way instead. Okay. This is not new. 
This is not new either. Okay, so this is goes upstairs, right? This one goes upstairs. So they, they probably redid the ductwork because this is an older carrier. Look, you see it's already faded. This is a Fujitsu. Look at that, unitary products, huh? It's a Fujitsu, looks like a ream. This is for the, I'm gonna wager this is for, it could also be there, I don't know. You know what, let's turn off that thermostat. Let's see which one turns off, because this is a uh, model number 24. Interesting. It's a two ton, big giant beast of a machine like this. Wow, but as you can see, as soon as we opened three of those closed vents, the noise decreased. And that's because now we have more airflow across all of them instead of restricting airflow at three of them and making other ones louder. So I sent Air Force One into the house and the Fujitsu turned off. And then this one did too. Huh. <laughs> we need to turn back on the uh, other one. No, 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 I gotta turn it on and leave it on. Now, I wonder if they installed this Fujitsu, which looks kind of new. Let's look at the date on it. This is 5, 2019. This is a 36, F036, that's a three ton. Now the Orthodox community, you know, have a lot of kids and the biggest, uh, load for the house would be, you know, Shabbat dinners and lunches and things like that. It's when you have a lot of people over for meals and stuff like that. So generally when I replace or install a new central air system in a, you know, a religious home, you know, one of the things I take into consideration is the load. How many people can you possibly have on average for Shabbat dinner, Shabbat lunch, Yontif lunches and things like that and dinners? And if you have, the dining room table wasn't that big in there, if you noticed, right? Maybe it accommodated six people, eight chairs maybe at most. But you see in some homes, we have a very, very big dining room table and it holds 14 people. You need to take that into consideration the lifestyle and the needs of the home and the occupants of the home. Because normally, you know, we have a level that is probably 800 square feet and a lower level, half of it's being insulated by the earth, you know, the lower level, the basement level. Is three tons overkill for that? Yes, it is. You can probably do the load calculation correctly and for that, those two floors, the main floor and the, and the basement, two tons is probably more than enough. But when you factor in, we have three vents in the, in the kitchen slash dining room area and three in the living room area. And it's kind of like an open floor plan. Three tons um, for the load makes sense. Makes sense. However, the noise, like I would have done things differently here. You have too much going on there. Maybe some linear diffusers uh, to just makes it more appealing and it just kills that noise. Now question. When you said you had, you, how long ago was the system replaced? Two and a half years. Oh, okay. So that's, <laughs> I thought just recently, like last, in the last, the last couple months. Oh, no. Well, okay. we moved in. Yeah. Okay. And it's been loud from day one? Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. How, I would like to see the duct work. Is there a hatch or access into the attic above the kitchen? Yes. Oh, like that exactly. look, it's like, I, like I knew he was going to ask me about this. But, exactly. uh, but are you satisfied with the noise level now, or should we investigate further? No, my husband wants it quiet. Okay. How quiet? Like, like quiet. you don't really know it's on. Right. Like, if, you know. Is there a budget in mind? As cheap I mean, as possible. <laughs> I mean, you know, within reason. Okay. Um... Yeah, there, so when we moved in, he must have, like, the old owner, like, just tapped the system. There was no access to it at all. Okay. When we got to this bathroom, they made an access through the wall. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Good luck, pipe doctor. If you shall not return. Let me flip that around. No matter. The, the company will take care of your family by throwing a pizza party and they'll never talk to them again. What about the pool party? We'll throw that in your honor. Okay. 
Let's take a look at duck work. Look, Air Force thought I made it. All right, so I wanted to note, note uh, orientation of the beams here in the ceiling. We're above the kitchen. So I'm thinking about putting linear diffusers here and that far corner back there. And I guess we can work on something up there as well. But if we increase, if we increase our flow of air, that will decrease noise. So we have a plenum here that, wow, look. Let's look at how hacks put these things together. All right, I should've got my knee pads on, but, all right, this is the plenum that they just smashed in there. Look up there. Wow, okay. Uh, uh. Wow, ow, ow. All right, so what I would probably do is if we create more airflow, it'll quiet it down, but I still can't believe they just slash, smit, smit, slammed that duct in there like that. No tape, no mastic, no nothing, just disgusting. And they weren't good at brazing either. Look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, all in the day's work, ladies and gentlemen. No. Return plenum box. They just slapped a piece of sheet metal on there and put a takeoff. So, realistically, we got to redo all the duct work. The husband wants it super quiet. He's got to spend the money because hacks bring me stacks. All right, let's see if I can get my ass out of here. Oh, fudge. My feet on the vanity? Okay, good. This is not a wall mounted battery because I have all my weight on it. There's the thing. There it is. Okay. I did it. All right. I will, I'll review with you and then I'll document what I saw up there on receipt and then I'll come up with some numbers for the linear diffusers. Um, it's apparent that when you bought the house, they kept the existing ductwork, which on normal circumstances is fine as long as it's intact and as long as you can use it. So they kept the existing ductwork and they replaced the equipment. Um, and they kept the lines that connect the two together. Um, you, yes, it can be, it, and sometimes that's the most cost effective way and other times it's you're wasting the customer's money. So when they put the new unit in, the blower in the attic, um, like the existing ductwork is not the, really the right size, so there's a huge gap or gaps along all the four sides. So a lot of air is actually escaping into the attic as it is. Also, you know, we have the, you know, the air where the filter comes in, the return. Um, normally, we, you know, before that duct is attached to the unit, there's a, there's a smaller duct, which we call a transition or a re plenum, return plenum where it meets this box and then attaches to the furnace, I mean, or to the air handler. They just like just slam the piece of, of uh, sheet metal on it and shove the duct into it, have a nice day. So, we would have to really do a, like engineer ductwork for this house in order for it to be quiet like you guys want. Because I could deliver that, but it's gonna, again, you're gonna pay twice, unfortunately, but the ductwork was existing anyway. Was it really 10 grand? Yeah. Just for that one system? Yeah. Or both? No, because the other one was old, older. They kept that one. What do you mean? There's, a, there's two units outside. There's an older carrier that, that does the second floor, the bedrooms. Yeah. And then there's a newer one, Fujitsu, which is a ream. And they. Which is this one? Yes. Yeah, that one. Was okay. Um, it is what it is. It's. it's Again, every company's overhead and how much they need to make is different, but I because the other one does not look to be new. Like, no, the, the, it's not new. We just replaced the blower. Okay. So, again, to address the problem, we would have to 
with keeping the equipment the same, we would have to make sure we have enough air movement where you're not going to be fighting to have a conversation here. And again, it's not that loud, but again, this is your house, this is your rules, whatever you want, we'll make happen. <laughs> but I would put a linear diffuser in the dining room, right? And one in the kitchen. We would eliminate the three that's here, right? Because you're gonna have more airflow. And then we're gonna do something about here. So I would probably keep this, keep that, move this at the first X. So this one it looks like an eight by eight. Maybe I put set with that one, maybe put like a 12 by four or 12 by six there, and another one right there, just for more air. Because I can't put a linear diffuser here without cutting through beams. Okay. And it would be cool to do that, it would look really nice, but it's gonna cause an arm to lie. Sounds like a plan? Yeah. Okay. So All right, guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback on this service call and how I should proceed. Should we rip out all the ductwork and maintain the existing equipment or should I not even like want to touch this abortion and I don't know, let someone else make the stacks. Thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. My thoughts are ripping out all the ductwork, maintaining existing equipment, installing a new uh, supply plenum, installing a new return plenum and getting it all done and doing it the right way. But my three ton system, I need to have enough airflow. Hi Daniel. Hi. Ready to have some fun with this Fujitsu and this concealed ducted unit that we're ripping out. Catch you on the next one, guys. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.